Hey, uh, welcome to Campaign Codex. Thought I'd give a quick overview on how the module works, uh, how you can use the sheets. Uh, so we will start off with here the journals panel. Uh, when you've got the module enabled, you'll notice you've got a few buttons up the top for creating new journals, regions, locations, entries, uh, NPCs, uh, and groups. You can also uh, create the entries the normal way, clicking on that button and then selecting from the drop down box. Uh, we will start off with a NPC sheet, uh, go over some of the sheet basics and uh, what an NPC sheet can do, and then I'll work through the rest. Uh, so here we'll create a new NPC sheet. Uh, and with the uh, basics here, you can see we've got an info tab, which it's got an editor. You can get in uh, and put in whatever text uh, you like, uh, format it however you like. Uh, and then we've also got uh, notes here, which are private GM notes, uh, which no one else uh, can see if you share it with your players. Uh, and then journals, uh, which you can take a standard journal, drag and drop uh, the whole journal itself, or you could just grab a page from the journal and I'll link just to that page. Uh, and if you've got uh, linked uh uh, items, uh, NPCs, uh, locations, regions, or whatever, they'll end up down here in this quick links. Uh, and <clears throat> that's kind of like the sheet basics. Uh, we will look at uh, uh, the NPC sheet in a little bit more depth. So I'll go and grab uh, someone I've got set up already. Here we've got Sildar. And uh, you'll see up here that it's got a little link and this little drop button. So um, I'm gonna go and unlink this. It's a actor that has been linked. Uh, so we can look in here and find our Sildar and drag and drop onto the info tab here. And this will link that actor uh, to this NPC sheet. And we can go and click that button to open up the actor sheet. Uh, we can drop that actor to a map. Uh, and wherever you see this icon, uh, that means you'll be able to drop any linked actors to the map. Uh, you can also uh, link uh, player sheets to uh, the NPC sheets. Uh, and you'll see that this art automatically populates with whatever linked actor. If you want to change it, you can just uh, click on this button and it'll open up the file browser. Uh, you'll see that this player uh, actor sheet uh, has renamed it to a player journal. But uh, we will change this back to Silda for the time being. Uh, you'll also see here, if we go through to locations, uh, he is linked to uh, Fandolin via the Town Masters Hall. Uh, so he doesn't have a direct link, but he's like being linked through. But if we want to directly link him somewhere, so uh, Lelon, for example, we can just drag and drop. And he's got that link there. And we've got a little overview of each of the locations. Uh, what's in there. Uh, so here we've got the House of uh, Thelavar and the Beacon. Uh, you can also press the uh, plus button to create a new location and automatically link it uh, to Sildar. And then entries here, we've got Town Masters Hall, uh, which is just by drag and dropping again, has linked it. Uh, and then we've got the create button here and associates. He's an associate of uh, Alma. And, uh, you know, you can click through. Uh, you will also notice here that uh, we've got a tag and uh, it's the Lord's Alliance. And we can click to open that up and the tags uh, can be dragged and dropped onto uh, regions, locations, uh, entries, NPCs, uh, groups. And they are built off the NPC sheet as well. And you'll notice here that this is an NPC sheet with tag mode. Uh, and Silda here has got it tag mode off. Uh, you can toggle that on and off uh, and it won't break anything. It'll just put it into like its tagging mode. Uh, when it's in tag mode, you know, we have got uh, the associates have been changed to members and then any locations or entries that are tagged uh, with the Lord's Alliance will appear in the sheet as well. Uh, you can again put in journals, uh, whatever, you like, whatever you like. You've got the quick links. Uh, down here and you'll notice here in associates uh, when this is in tag mode it won't show up in associates for Sildar uh, but it will show up in the 
in the uh, tag sound side. If we turn that off, you'll notice that it comes up as an associate and it's just a normal NPC. Uh, anyway, we'll turn that back to tag mode. Uh, and we'll move on up to uh, entries. So uh, an entry is kind of like, it can be a uh, an encounter, it can be a shop, uh, it could just be a, a place of interest. Uh, it can kind of be uh, any old thing you want. But here we've got uh, Barthens Provisions and uh, the Old Owl Well, for example. So here, uh, you know, you got your information, but what makes uh, the entries a little bit more unique is you have the inventory uh, and the inventory here can be turned into a uh, loop mode where it won't show any pricing uh, so we can turn that dynamically on and off uh, and you can uh, also do markup when it's not in loop mode uh, and you can hide the inventory altogether if you don't want uh, it to be on for your entry uh, and you also notice here we've got a base price which is pulling in from uh, the item price itself. Uh, you can turn that off in the core settings if you don't want to see this column. Uh, and then from here, you can send uh, these items off to a player character. Uh, you can remove it, uh, open it up, uh, and you can sort the inventory alphabetically uh, if you want. Uh, the other things that you can do on uh, entry sheet is you can link it to a region uh, as you'll see here, uh, Old Alwal is linked to the Tribal Trail region uh, and Barthens Provisions is linked to the Fandolin location. Uh, if you have a scene, you can drag and drop uh, the scene and it will link it here and then you can open that scene from here. Uh, NPCs are either creatures or uh, other things that you want uh, to uh, link to the scene. And then so here we've got Old Owlwell, which is a bit of a um, an encounter, and there are some zombies in there. Uh, I haven't created a, a zombie journal yet, uh, but I might want to, and I can just drag and drop the actor sheet actor uh, onto here, and it'll create the journal for me. So uh, if I've got a bit of extra information I want, uh, I can put it in, and uh, you can rename it to whatever you want. Uh, maybe these are the zombies for the old uh, the owl, owl and they've got a bit more information uh, that I want to put in it. And you'll see that's there and I can drop them down uh, to the map by clicking on the button. Uh, we will move on um, to the uh, location sheets. Again, uh, you can create it, press the button, but I've got a uh, couple already. So we'll um, open up Fendlin. Uh, and you will notice that this is linked here to the Tribal Trail region, uh, which I'll open up here. Uh, again, you can just uh, unlink it, uh, drop uh, region to link it. Uh, you can open up the region sheet from it. Um, and you can also drop a scene. Uh, you'll also see the quick links of everything that is linked to this location. Uh, and you can change the image out by clicking on that. Uh, so we've got our info tab. Uh, and we can jump to NPCs. So these are some directly linked NPCs that have just been dragged and dropped onto this location. Uh, and then you've got entry NPCs which are being populated via uh, entries which have been dragged and dropped onto this location. And you'll see we've got um, a little bit of information, you know, whereabouts this NPC is located. Uh, and then, you know, if they've got any tags, uh, if they're associated with any stores, um, and you'll also see we've got NPC uh, and NPC, but if we uh, say dragged over, uh, here we've got this new NPC journal, we'll uh, link this one to a uh, player character. Uh, so we'll drop that in. You will notice now that this has uh, got a little player tag. So you get that nice visual differentiation. Uh, we'll jump over to entries. So these are entries which have been dragged and dropped uh, on to uh, this location and you'll see these little boxes indicating that it's got an inventory. Uh, if you see a little diamond here, that means it's loot. Uh, and if it doesn't have anything, it doesn't have its inventory turned on. Uh, again, you can create entries by pressing this button, uh, NPCs by clicking the button. You can drop any direct NPCs that have 
uh, actor sheets linked to them by clicking on the button uh, and you can also like drag and drop uh, actor sheets to create uh, journals moving on up uh, to regions we'll grab um, yeah, tribal trail uh, and you'll see we can drag and drop a um, scene to uh, this we can change the image out uh, and then we can see all the locations uh, within this region so Fandolin it's got a lot of entries in it uh, here we kind of very we've got uh, you can see that it's got a couple of tags associated with it uh, and then we've got NPCs again these are direct NPCs uh, and entry NPCs uh, and we'll jump over to uh, the entries and we can see we've got uh, a direct entry location the old owl well, and you can see here we've got uh, the little diamond because it's loot uh, and down here we've got uh, Bathin's provisions and we can get a little overview of where they're coming in from um, and then again you've got your journals and your private notes um, we will jump up uh, again to uh, our group uh, view uh, these sheets are a little bit special uh, you can create um, a group uh, of kind of any of the campaign codex sheets including groups themselves so uh, I'll grab all our um, player journals here for example so I can drop all of these guys in here um, and then we'll call them uh, players so I've got a group of uh, all the player characters and um, you know you can have their notes in here uh, who the associates are uh, and the like um, and uh, then you know so we've got that group uh, of people and you'll see here we've got the group uh, in here of um, um, of the of the players so you can have a group within a group uh, you can drag in like a, a region and it'll bring in everything below that region you can drag in uh, NPC just to sit at the top level uh, for example you know um, that's fine uh, you can also um, change filter out what this tree view is so if we expand it all out you see we've got all these uh, uh, NPCs and locations and uh, you can decide to not view the NPCs uh, in the list uh, you can choose to show the tags in the list so uh, for example we've got Conberry uh, that's got some tags associated with it uh, you can view both if you want uh, you can also uh, uh, see the items sitting within an entry if you want as well so all of those can be turned on or off uh, expanded and contracted as you want uh, you also see that we've got uh, a tag only mode and if you click that you will just see the tags and then you'll see all of the uh, entries that are tagged uh, underneath that so we've got um, all these NPCs and uh, some locations um, in the group uh, we've also got the tabs across the top which uh, you got general information uh, we've got NPCs that you can filter out by um, this is all NPCs uh, by location uh, by entries uh, by player uh, and then you can also see which tags are directly uh, on them we can also uh, have a check of the inventory of any of the uh, linked entries uh, and then we've got the locations which are uh, populated in as well and they'll indicate whether or not it's a region or a location and you get a little bit of an overview of what's in them as well uh, again you can drag in journals uh, and make some private notes uh, you can also go and click on these and you'll get a little bit of a, a read-only overview so you'll uh, be able to jump to a scene if it's got it linked uh, open the sheet from it if you want uh, you'll be able to see the NPCs that are linked directly uh, uh, or indirectly to that location or whatever you've got selected uh, any tags that might be associated 
Uh, so, for example, Conberry has got some tags associated with it. Um, and then you've got uh, you know, the entries uh, and um, you, know, you can link through to that. Uh, then you've got journals. And then we also have notes if there are any private notes. Uh, that's kind of the basics of how uh, the sheets work. Uh, there are some core settings as well that you can get in and change. Um, if you jump in and select campaign codex, you've got uh, item price path and currency path. Uh, these this is set up for a, a few different systems that work with DnD Five E uh, and Pathfinder. But uh, if your system's got a different uh, value uh, for item price or currency, you can put them in here. Or you can just override it and put in handfuls, credits, uh, whatever you want. You can write it in here. Uh, just call it money if you want, and it would show up as 25 money. Um, you can hide that base cost uh, column, which I was talking about earlier. You can have this automatically sort cards alphabetically. Uh, and you also have these hide cards by ownership. So, uh, for example, if we were to jump into uh, Bathroom's provisions, for example, uh, hiding cards by ownership. Uh, if you gave uh, your players observer or higher permissions on uh, Bathroom's provisions, uh, but you didn't give it for Alma uh, Bathroom himself, his sheet, uh, if, if they had no permission to view this sheet, uh, and then this hide cards by ownership was turned on. They'd be able to see the sheet, but then this NBCs would be blank uh, because they wouldn't be able to uh, have permission to see him. And uh, inventory is the same. Uh, you know, if you've got all of these in here, but they've only got permission to see dice and dragon chess, and you turn this on, uh, then they'll only see dice and dragon chess uh, in this list. And then the reset item pass to default uh, will just erase these back to blank. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the high level uh, overview um, for exporting and importing. Uh, you've got these buttons down the bottom here. Uh, if you press the export button, uh, you can export it to uh, a world and it will create new compendiums, or you can export it to a module uh, which has got a set of compendiums. Uh, you need a module that has got uh, actor item scene and journal packs and you need to make sure you've got them unlocked in your world and then you can select that uh, and then you can click the the export button uh, you can choose it to export the link scenes and you can get it to do a cleanup before it exports uh, if you like so I'll just double check all the links uh, and you just click the uh, export button and then it'll do the cleanup, uh, it'll let you know what it's doing, and it'll go through uh, and do that. And then we'll be able to click over to our compendium. So we've just, we've put it into here. Uh, and you'll notice that like all of the actors pop in, uh, all of the items that were linked uh, get exported, uh, and then all the linked journals, all the linked uh, sheets, campaign code at sheets uh, and you know, everything gets uh, exported and then uh, to bring it back in you can just press the import button uh, and it will scan to find uh, any compendiums with campaign codex uh, uh, journals in it and then you'll see here uh, we've got a couple of options and then you can just skip anything it won't overwrite anything importing or you can get it to replace it as it comes in um, it is also compatible with the Foundry Adventure module. Uh, if you are exporting the Campaign Codex sheets off to the Adventure module, uh, Campaign Codex will uh, pause all of the relationship syncing uh, and checking while it exports uh, to an Adventure compendium and it'll also pa pause when it gets imported from uh, an Adventure compendium so uh, nothing should break uh, as you import and export. Uh, I hope you enjoy using it uh, and, you know, welcome any feedback, uh, feature requests and the like. So join me on Patreon or jump onto Discord. Um, always happy to have a chat. Uh, thanks.